Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to show you a couple different tricks and techniques on how to adjust your alignment temporarily before you can get to a repair shop in case you did any kind of front end repair. This will get you by for a little while. Um, as always, if you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. All right, so we're checking out this vehicle and we found the outside edge of this driver's tire is excessively worn. Um, the alignment on this vehicle is off a little bit, so we're gonna see if we can adjust it to improve it. All right, before we start, you're gonna wanna make sure you're on a flat level surface. You're gonna wanna make sure all your tire pressures are accurate. And I'm gonna take two pieces of cardboard per side um, so that I can sit the front tires on and they'll be able to swivel back and forth a little bit easier. So I'll set those right there. And I'll do the same for the other side. All right, just gonna back the car up a little bit so it's centered on the cardboard. Then I'm gonna take the steering wheel. I'm just gonna go back and forth with it. Try to get a center with the steering wheel. Get it as close as you can to center. That should be good right there. Shut the vehicle off. All right, so we took a piece of string. We wrapped it between two step stools. You could use a milk crate. You could use a jack stand. Uh, we want it fairly far apart. Um, what I prefer is when I'm near the tire to be able to move the string in or out. So about arm's distance from where the tire is is helpful. And I want the string about to the center height of the tire. So in this vehicle, it's a little bit more than a foot. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that for both sides. And to set this up, I'm gonna get this pretty close to the tire. I wanna try to get it with a tape measure about, about an inch from the center cap or something common on the tire, the wheel. Move it a little bit closer. All right, so that's about an inch right there. I'm gonna do the same for the back one. We want the, make sure the string is tight. And you wanna make sure it's not touching anything. You can get it as close to the car, but just make sure it doesn't touch. So that looks pretty good right there. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. But for this side, we wanna get about an inch from the center there. And the same on this one. About an inch, this is about an inch and a quarter. So we're gonna move this one back a little bit. Try to get it closer. And that looks pretty good. And then before we make any adjustments or anything, we're gonna measure in between these two strings. Just put the tape measure there. And we're at about 66 inches right here. And we'll check the front one. and it's about 67 in the front. So we're just gonna move the back out a little bit to square it up a little more. Oops. So that's about 67. So that's good right there. Now we can come to the front of the vehicle. We're gonna measure the back side of the rim. So that is about one and an eighth. 
So that's one and one eighth of an inch. And the front is a little bit more. So that's about one and three sixteenths of an inch in the front. And then we can do the same for the other side. What we want is we want the front of the tire going in about a sixteenth from the back. So at this point, we would want to adjust the backside tie rod. We would want it to be loosened up so that it pushes the front of the tire out on this vehicle. Different vehicles are going to have different adjustments, but at least that would get us close. About one and a quarter. And that's one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter. And the front one is towed in about one and three quarters, which this is almost half an inch in, which is way too far. So this has to be adjusted. So to be able to adjust that right front wheel, I have to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. So I'll just turn the key on, just turn the wheel all the way to the left. Then I can access the tie rods. All right, so we're gonna adjust the right front tie rod end. If you come underneath here, I'm just gonna take a marker just to mark where this is before we start, in case we decide um, to go back to scratch. Now I'm gonna loosen up this nut right here. I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter wrench. Obviously this would be different for different vehicles. Loosen this up. Now because this was towed in about a half an inch, um, what I'm going to do is I want to tighten up this tie rod. So I'm going to take some pliers and I'm going to turn this like this. I like to start with about quarter turns. So that's about a quarter turn, although this was pretty far off, so we'll go a little bit more. So we're just going to snug this up. You could leave this loose and check it, but it's not going to be as close. A little bit easier if you just snug it up. You can tighten it down later. All right. Now I'm going to turn the wheel back to straight and then just shake the wheel back and forth. Just make sure it's even in the middle. You can even start it up. Just make sure it's pretty accurate. And that's good. So we're rechecking this. Uh, it's about an inch on the back side of the wheel and about an inch and three eighths on the front side of the wheel. So we, we did move it a little bit. Um, we'd like to move it a little bit more. So I think I'm going to loosen it up and then turn it a full turn and see where we're at after that. All right, so after tightening that inner tie rod a whole turn, we're 
at about an inch, a little bit, about an inch and an eighth on the back side of the wheel. And about an inch and a quarter on the front side of the wheel, which actually isn't too bad. We could get it a little bit closer, but uh, that's one way to adjust your alignment and get it close so you can go down the road, not burn your tires out quite so bad, um, but you still want to go to a shop and have it aligned. I'm going to show you another method of how to check the front alignment just to get it close. Um, use a tape measure. You're going to have a partner on the other side underneath the vehicle and he's going to pick a line on the tire itself somewhere near the center, like either right there, and he's going to put this part of the tape measure there while I have the other side of the tape measure and I'm going to measure on the other side. So I'm going to turn the wheels straight first. So my friend is over there on the other side and he picked one of the lines, he's close to the center. And I'm gonna look at this line right here. So we're at about 59 inches and an eighth. So that's on the back side of the tire. You wanna make sure the tape measure is not bowing or anything in the middle. It's a straight sight. So now we're gonna check on the front side of the tire. So let go. So buddy. now that I'm on the front side of the tire, my buddy is in that same groove from the front side. And the same groove on this side is about uh, 1 and 1 16th, which is actually pretty good. So the difference between the back and the front is about a 16th. Um, it could be a little bit tighter, but um, that's going to at least get us by. So before we perform this alignment, the steering wheel had to be like this, going down the road to go straight. So we're going to drive it around and see how it goes now. All right, so now we're going down the road straight. And as you can see, the steering wheel is straight. So we significantly improved this vehicle's alignment. So it'll get us by a little bit longer before we get to the repair shop. We set this vehicle up the same as we did the Ford Focus. Uh, we put the string and we had performed some front end repairs. The suspension has been replaced on this vehicle. So we were going to just check it out and see how accurate this vehicle is. Take my tape measure. Now this is the vehicle's already set up. So I'm about an inch and a half on the back side and then about an inch and a half on the front side of the wheel, which is good. So. Um, the closer you are to the same from the front to back, it's going to be better. We should still have this aligned after. And there we're an inch and a quarter on the front, and an inch and a quarter on the back. So these wheels are going down the road straight. So we know at least we're not going to burn the tires out driving this down the road. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.